Pampers Blast Off. I'm Nate Gelb alongside Max Gelb and Ethan Klein. Today we're going to talk about some topics that are very controversial. Not the most recent things, but they have a ton of impacts. We are going to first start off by talking about should college athletes be paid? Ethan, what do you think? No, college athletes should not be paid. It's what they signed up for. It's part of the path to go to the NFL, to go get paid to play uh, a professional sport. So, and first of all, most of them are getting a scholarship. So that's like an easy uh, $20,000, $30,000 off. So I think they're just being a little, they're taking it for granted, and they, I think it's stupid. They're different than normal students. They're athletes. I mean, I know other guy, people in the school are doing other things well, but sports is a lot. Sports, college sports has grown a lot, and the teams now make so much money where the, some of that money should be going to the players. And unlike basketball, they, their only option is college, so they're, that's kind of what they have to sign up for. They're not going to, you can't go through high school. So if they, so if, they can't go through high school in basketball, you can go overseas, but that's not the case when it comes to football. So if they don't, they should be able to go from high school to the NFL, even though they might not be ready. But if they're not going to be paid in college... Most college pay- athletes are already living their dream. They don't, they're, they're the uh, most popular kids on campus. They're getting all the attention. Do they need to get paid? They're getting free gear, free shoes, free, like, I don't know, keychains. Like, it doesn't matter. They, they don't, do they need to get paid? I think they do need to be paid because the university is building all these new buildings and building all these new facilities because of those players, because of those names. And they should be able to make video games, they should be able to make jerseys, they should be able to brand those players' names, and those guys deserve to get the money. They're just playing they're playing they're playing sports just like professional they're playing it just like professional, they're playing the same sports and they're just except they're just wearing a different jersey and a different patch that says NCAA. Or if that happens, players players in college they won't be they won't grind as much. They won't like have it so that when they finish college they feel like they want to go to the NFL. They're already getting paid. They're already getting their like jersey, selling their jerseys. Like there's something special about being in college and being kind of like on a team. You're I get, not, you're I not get your, you're on a team, but you're, when, you're, when you're in the you're, NFL, you're your own self. When you're in college, you're on a team. But those guys normally have the motive, who had the motivation and, ha- felt like, and felt like they had to get to college football because of with their talent. They were motivated to get there. So what makes you think that they're after college, they're going to settle for that, there and not be motivated to get to the next level and dominate that level. So there, I think you need the college athletes. Because they're already getting paid. They're already, they already have money. Why would, why would you want to go to the NFL? It's tons of more work and you're still you get more money that. I know but still you can't live your life you can't you can't live your life off of four years all I'm saying is college college. athletes are getting it pretty darn good so if they were to get paid I think that'd be a little unfair on to our next topic the MLB ratings are going down a lot of people are saying it's boring and slow it's losing interest and popularity quickly there's no official face of the MLB who do you guys think is the face of the MLB we'll start with Max um so I think the face of the MLB is Bryce Harper. I know he's not the best player, and he is not putting up the best numbers. <coughs> there are guys who are putting up better numbers, for example, Mike Trout. Um, but Mike Trout is, doesn't want to be branded man. Rob, the commissioner of the MLB, Rob Manfred, has criticized him for that. And the MLB needs bigger names. And they just need bigger names. Pop culture and social media have become a big part of tying in with sports. And Sports Illustrated a couple weeks ago released their top five uh, athletes, top 50 most uh, most stylish athletes. No, Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report. And not that that matters. Not that that matters that much. Just showing that there's only one baseball player, and that was Bryce Harper. So Bryce Harper is the biggest name, and he does connect. And fans can kind of say that if you have a baseball player that they know, they'll say Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper can connect with other athletes, unlike a lot of other guys who can just. Can I just say something real quick? Uh, Nate, back to what you said. You're saying it's getting boring because the game's slow. It's always been like that. It's not going to change. It's never going to. It's losing so popularity. Quickly. Yeah, but you said that because it's slow. It's been but slow for the sports, past hundred but years. Other, but now guys, sports are getting Now the world, yeah, uh, the world They've done what they can. They they've they've done guys. what they can. They've added a pitcher clock. They've added that, like, you can't go out of the batter's box. Baseball, oh. baseball, it's not a classic. It's not a pastime. It's not a gentleman sport. They need more guys that are going to be big names that can produce cleats. Like last they do in time, basketball. Last time I, but, like they do in soccer overseas. And they have big names in football, Tom Brady had. Well, if you follow it, Mike Trout has his own cleat, Bryce Harper has his own cleat, and um... But how many it? kids do you see with Mike Trout or Bryce Harper A lot Harper of kids, ones? buddy. A lot of kids? There's no such thing as Bryce Harper ones. Okay, back to the topic. Mike Trout, in my opinion, is the best player in the MLB. He's who kids should look up to, which when it comes down to the face of a sport is, it's who kids should look up to and who's the best role model. In the NBA, that's 
LeBron, or some people may argue Curry because you can look up to him. And in the NHL, it's I don't even know what the NHL is. Okay. And in the <laughs> NFL, it's not Tom Brady, probably a person like Odo Beckham Jr. You want to be like yeah, him. exactly you Odo be Beckham, that cool hair. Oh yeah, that's what like Bryce Harper is. is. That's what I'm saying. Mike yes, Trout. I, what do you What do you think? Kids go to the bar. Oh, you heard from the, the, the Mike Trout receding hairline. They want the Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper has cool hair. Bryce Harper wears cool outfits. Bryce Harper. No, but, exactly they, what but they go to their to mom and be like, "Can I have those uh, Mike Trout hops so I can get the thing over the scoreboard like that?" I'm just saying, Bryce Harper. Kids more want to idolize after guys like that. You see OBJ, how like just because one catch and that's made him into a big in, uh, personality and sensation. All right, that's all what right, Bryce Harper is. All right, all right, enough of you. Last topic. We'll make it 30 seconds. So we are going to be talking about should women be able to play men's sports so in the NBA, the NFL, NHL? Do you think they should be uh, able to? All right. So, um, women's sports. Let's see. I think they should be allowed to play if they have the same talent as men's. Though that is, that is rare, which is unfortunate because of their physical build, that would be unfair. And if they did play, I think it would be unfortunate because it would take away from... I mean, oh, sorry, restating it. If they did play, I think it would cause a lot of attention, and I think that would be a good thing to some sports such as baseball or, or MLS or NHL, which would be kind of which are kind of not the most popular sports. So if they so if women played, it would bring a positive impact to sports overall, and it would be a great and there would be great role models for young women who aspire to be professional athletes. All credit, all credit to women. Women's sports, women's soccer is very popular. Other women's sports are growing, but this isn't just a poly, This isn't going to be a stunt. This isn't going to be a political move. We want to keep sports how they are. All credit to women. They're great people. Women are good people. Thanks, but, Trump. <laughs> but I'm just, Damn. I'm gonna say that <laughs> sports they have such a competitive, uh, they have such a competitive edge to them, and I feel like with women in the sports it would be kind of more political, and I think it would bring up uh, a lot of issues and it would bring up more debate between fans, and I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. I do think there are some sports where women can contend and compete, like at, maybe add a woman in baseball. I think a couple of years ago a woman was added to an MLB prospect list from overseas, which is a big step, and now women are becoming coaches in sports, like the NFL, uh, NBA as assistant coaches. Though I feel like men should play men, men, men should play men's sports, and women should play women's sports, and it should stay that way. Yeah. Okay, so uh, my final statement about this. I think women should be able to play in leagues like the NHL, MLB, um, NFL, and uh, what did I miss? NBA. NBA. So, but, um, but I do think uh, kind of agreeing with Max, yeah. it would take away from the other things okay. that are going on in that sport. And um, I think that if women's sports, they have professional leagues, like the WNBA, the Women's Soccer League, I think, like the equivalent to the MLS, the Women's Hockey League. And yeah, I think those would be, if those if could we, get more okay, attention, they I get, I get what you're saying, but no one, if you see the co comments under things that are related to WNBA, um, like pe you, people go off to the WNBA, and not that it's a women's sport, but just because it's nothing like the NBA, and pe people would stop watching. If it will, if the, I feel some people who are somewhat sexist would stop watching. I would still watch. I'd be, I'd like, I, I it would be interesting to see. Though I don't, see, I can't see that happening, um, permanently. And women, like people joke, like there's been like the best dunks in WNBA history. You see like one hand rim grazers. Like, how is that gonna be able to compete with the NBA's athleticism? Can I just say one problem? more thing, Max? Do you think a woman will ever play in the major four sports leagues? I do, I do. I but I don't think either. I don't think it's gonna be a mix. It's gonna be like a 99. We're done here. See you later. See you guys. I won that. Yeah, oh my